Chinese bodybuilder stops skyjacker. A Chinese man is being hailed for heroically stopping a lunatic from breaking into the cockpit of a plane flying to Beijing. An Ethiopian Airlines flight from Addis Ababa to Beijing last Saturday was thrown into chaos after an unnamed passenger suddenly threw himself at the cockpit door and began kicking and pounding on it. Flight crew and passengers tried to reason with the man, but were too scared to confront him. That's when Cao Hongguo, a business manager and bodybuilder on a business trip, stepped in to save the day. Even though he had a fever, Cao wrestled the man to the floor. The pair struggled until the plane's captain jumped in to help Cao. The man had his arms tied behind his back but broke free, so Cao and the captain had to pin him down again. Cao collected headphones from passengers to tie the man up again, but the struggle still lasted for 20 minutes. The flight made an emergency stop in Lahore, Pakistan, where the man was taken into custody. The plane later arrived in Beijing, five hours after its scheduled arrival time. According to Chinese media, the suspect was hysterical because he'd lost his job. He wanted to end his life by taking a plane full of people with him. Cao works for the Chinese state-owned aerospace and defense company AVIC International. He sustained minor facial injuries in the fight. The captain later penned a thank you letter to Cao for his help, which AVIC posted on Chinese social media platform WeChat. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. In case you didn't know already, you really shouldn't mess with bodybuilders. World's hottest cop is here to arrest your heart. This is Adrienne Coliza from Germany. She's perhaps the hottest and fittest cop in the world. This is Coliza's Instagram account. It's full of photos of her working out in crop tops and showing off her perfect body, and uh, she has 120,000 followers. The 31-year-old is a frequent participant in fitness contests, but insists she is not a celebrity and loves her job as a policewoman. Her fans certainly love her as well, with many demanding Coliza to arrest them. Coliza says her perfect figure was achieved through exercising and a healthy diet. She also instructs people via her Facebook page and YouTube channel on how to work out and make healthy, low-fat meals. Coliza said she posts her photos in order to encourage women to be fit and healthy, not to attract men. And this may break your heart, but Coliza is already in a relationship. So don't risk breaking any laws to get her. Iron Hulk wants smash ISIS! <laughs> 24-year-old Sajad Garibi has been dubbed the Iranian Hulk. And yes, we don't recommend making him angry as we hear he's less likable when he's angry. This 342-pound power lifter claims to be able to lift 386 pounds, and we'll take his word for it. In early July came news Sajad is putting his growing online fame on hold to go smash ISIS. <sighs> now he is reportedly joining the Iranian military and will fight ISIS with soldiers from Syria's Assad regime, but who cares? Persian Hercules wants to kill ISIS, and this is good. While Garibi has quite a following in Iran, he's only recently getting more international attention, with 99.9% .9 of news outlets, including the BBC, electing to go for the Hulk comparison. And, um, fair enough. Iranian Hulk doesn't appear to be a man of great stature, but man, those 25-inch arms. A proud Iranian with a strong distaste for shirts, Garibi reportedly has his eye on a professional wrestling career, which could be a good choice, as he obviously needs cash for an American-sized SUV. But for now, Iran Hulk Isis One Smasher is said to be toughening up for the fight. He's reportedly been dipping his hands in hot coals and burning sand to numb his fists so he can smash those puny Isis faces. Good hunting, Iran Hulk. Meet the world's strongest boys, Giuliano and Claudio Stro from Romania. Giuliano Stro, nine, and his brother Claudio, seven, are literally the world's strongest boys. Just look at their muscles. Coming from a bodybuilder family, the boys started lifting weights and performing acrobatic feats when they were toddlers. Giuliano Stro broke two world records for 90 degree vertical push ups and holding onto a pole like a human flag. Yeah, this picture is not photoshopped. These little muscular boys lift four kilogram dumbbells and heavy weights for two hours every day to build up their biceps and chest muscles. Some people have suggested that it's cruel to train children so hard at their age, but their parents say they have natural ability and aren't forced. Yeah, it's not hard for them at all. 
Giuliano and Claudio's father was determined to make them famous, so he moved the family to Florence. Since that plan has failed, Mr. Stroh now plans to travel to the UK, hoping to find a job or financial sponsor for his sons. He's hoping to bring the boys' weightlifting act to a new audience. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Teen Refugee is actually a bodybuilder and former military man. Finnish Prime Minister Juha Sipila met with refugees from war-torn Syria, including Fahad Firas, who claimed to be 17. But according to his social media accounts, Firas is a bodybuilder who is set to turn 20 in two months. He's also a former soldier, and he claims that he spent time in jail when he was younger for a violent crime that sent someone to the hospital for five months. His Facebook page also says he has bounced around other European countries, including Germany, Switzerland, and Bulgaria before ending up in Finland. His favorite movies reportedly include Ass Lovers and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In a show of goodwill, Sapilla offered up his house in Kempele to refugees at the end of this year when he and his family moved to southern Finland. The estimated number of refugees in Finland soared from 3,600 last year to 30,000 this year, and 80% of them are reportedly young men. Some are worried that the influx of Syrian refugees will also make it easier for Islamic militant operatives to sneak into the EU. Meanwhile, Israel and the United States are refusing to accept refugees from Syria, citing the risk of letting terrorists in with the refugees who are trying to escape the violence. True love is about seeing past your partner's imperfections, because you can always cut them off later. Case in point, Dr. Matlock met his wife Veronica when she came in for a vaginoplasty. Though she was 40 pounds heavier at the time, Dr. Matlock saw her potential and thought to himself something along the lines of, I'm going to make that woman my wife then suck out her butt fat through a tube. Vaginoplasty, G-spot shot, Brazilian butt lift, liposuction, and Botox. He gave her the works. The doctor also used liposuction to give himself a fat six-pack. The couple are now competitive bodybuilders, a passion not shared by their nine-year-old daughter. Aging gracefully is for elephants. Hand over the Botox.